Dr. Sidi Bey, welcome to the China Current. Your work is critical. Why aren't there more people with your experience? I think what's super unique in terms of what we're trying to actually fight today is the fact that we've been significantly thinking about how you improve hand washing with soap during a, a crisis like now, and that is changing from where it was seen as an afterthought in, in in terms of public health, rather than being at the forefront today. Well, speaking of that crisis, as you said, we're living through a major pandemic, and at the beginning, in its early stage. I always used to hear about people saying we're off to wash our hands, and if we're outside, we're going to sanitize them. I think that that message has tailed off slightly. That that message of hand washing has moved slightly off the center. But what do you think? People started obviously rushing to wash their hands with soap. But as the pandemic is not settling, but you know it's becoming a new normal, and the way in which we're actually living, we went from seeing people washing their hands maybe twelve to fifteen times a day to now. Seeing it well only when I come back home or when I thought I'd touch something. So I think what we need to do is, without keeping fear at the center of the response only, but to keep the messages surprising and top of the conversations because it is important. It remains the best line of defense when it comes to protecting yourself against COVID-19. I believe a part Malian and part Guinean.、Um, I'm over in China. Is there a time now? For countries in Africa and for China to push forward and say we have something to add here, we have something of value to offer. So I think you know there's never been a better moment for a more south-to-south collaborations for us to understand and look from within and create capabilities that are based in countries that can respond to the needs of PPEs, that can respond to the needs of the populations to be able to practice, prevent, and also feed themselves and look at the food security and nutrition. So when I think about all of this, I, I think the lessons that we can learn from India, from China, back into Africa, and then also vice versa, and change. The way lifestyle norms are done in a way that is much more positive, much more in touch to our roots and to some of our indigenous way in which we used to live, because that is the positive that we can bring back out of this, so that we can create an inner resilience that probably wouldn't have happened otherwise. I am James Chow. You're watching the China Current. Follow us on social media at the China Current.